Dear first year medical student, hi, my name is Zara. I'm a fourth year medical student living, breeding, existing, studying in Nigeria, West Africa. This is my neighbor's goat and chicken. I am going to catch it Monday. Anyway, I can't really catch it, but I'm going to pay somebody to catch it. Then, their person is also going to kill it. Then I'm going to start make very sweet pepper soup. Because anytime I want to make a video, that's when this animal, it's an animal, that's not an insult. That's when this animal will remember that it wants to, you know, bleed. If you're new to this channel and you have not clicked the subscribe button, first of all, you're welcome, you know, cutting. You're welcome. But then again, why have you not subscribed to this channel? I mean, like, why? You have no excuse. In fact, there's nothing you will say now that will justify your reason for not subscribing. So just click the subscribe button. Because I mean, all my information, my tips, my advice, my, my advice, my advice, my vlogs, everything, you're missing out on it. This is the place to be okay so in today's video because i know you have already subscribed so i'm just gonna i'm just gonna go straight into the video you know but in this video i'm going to be giving first year medical students not even medical students first year uni students tips some piece of advice you know to make your journey through university in medical school as smooth as it can be without all the higgy haggas the bumpy road and if you'd be interested in that first of all click that like button then keep watching okay so let's get straight into the video i just want somebody to talk to okay going straight into this video now dear first year medical students this is my first advice calm down <laughs> my dear calm just breathe breathe that is that is the first thing i have to say to you because you have been given this admission nobody's taking it away from you no except yourself Sha. yes nobody's taking it away from you so calm down calm down don't rush don't rush it. just take like take it as a cut walk take it slow i mean calm down i know how um overwhelming it can be how oh my god i'm a student oh my god oh they said that course registration will soon finish oh they said that we have to um register uh, oh 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 this is happening oh 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 that is happening you just want to be like in the game you just want to hurry up and meet up and do everything but my dear calm down take a chill pill just chillax relax it is your admission nobody's taking it from you okay another advice for my first year medical students uni students is that don't be overwhelmed ah there are some people that you will meet that want to intentionally overwhelm you you maybe you meet a friend in the uni and you're just coming in and you're a chill person and you're just like ah, yeah if it be be i mean you're just chill and cool about everything then boom, this friend that you made that is your classmate just comes and say, Ah, do you know that they did this? Do you know that they the person's mouth is just rushing, like running tap. My dear, don't be overwhelmed. Calm down. Oh my god, cause um the school portal just opened. Cause registration will soon finish in the next two days. Blah blah blah. If you don't register now, late registration, five thousand, two thousand, ten thousand. In your mind, just like hey, Jesus. Jesus, Jesus, you're running to the cyber calf. You're doing this, you're doing that. My dear, relax. Uh, relax, my dear. Don't be overwhelmed for nothing. The Bible says don't be anxious for nothing. Don't be uh, don't, Calm down. Calm. It is, you have been given this admission, my dear. Nobody's taking it away from you. Just do things when you're meant to do them. Do things when you're meant to do them. Don't don't wait for things to accumulate and pack before you not attend to them. Oh, course registration opened two weeks ago. You're waiting to the dying minute because you want to be in the dying minute gang. You're waiting to the dying minute where you go to the cyber cafe everywhere. It's filled up with human beings, bodies everywhere, you know, trying to register before it closes. If you have paid your school fees, done your registration, done everything you have to do, and you have not registered your course till the dying minutes, my brother, it's your fault. Okay? It's your fault. 
but try to just breathe sometimes when you're feeling anxious when you're feeling overwhelmed when you're feeling like ah everything is just going too fast okay. sometimes you cannot believe it like oh it's my working. god it's dawning on me that i am now in the university it's dawning on me that i am alone it's dawning on me that i have to go through this life it's dawning on me like sometimes that thought comes like ah i'm here on my own i have to face life in uni calm down breathe take two minutes to just close your eye and your eyes and breathe because you need it i mean i know how overwhelming it can be how if it, sometimes it feels like you are the one putting pressure on yourself to be a certain way to do certain things just calm down just calm down because at the end of the day again you have been granted admission you have been given admission it is yours so tell me why are you rushing calm down and do what you have to do okay another advice i would like to give i've said i've said it in passing but i would just like to stretch on it a bit is be as timely as you can be not just for registrations not just for payments not just for this not just for that but for a lot of things i mean if you if you have any assignment do it on time if you have any um what they call this thing again hey i've forgotten Projects, not called projects. I forgot what they call it in first year. Usually with GS in medical school. I can't remember. Um, ten paper. Yes, ten paper. If you have any ten paper to do, do it on time. Hold, like, just be timely. Start on time. If you have a seven o'clock class, go for your seven o'clock class on time. This is not the time to start ditching lectures. I mean, your first year is your year you have to start building your GP. That's if you're department does gp because in medical school we don't really do gp and first class okay but if your department has gp this is the time to build your gp this is the time to create healthy habits that can help you through your stay in school i mean like a good reading habit find out what works for you first year can be flexible sometimes because first year is also a time where people discover themselves a lot they discover oh this is how i am this is not how i am and it's kind of it's, it's kind of spontaneous first year is spontaneous okay because you do this you do that you do this again first year is spontaneous so you have to try and be timely with what you have you're doing what you have to do classes assignments term paper registrations payments whatever it is just try and be timely if you can okay especially things that don't involve money because i know when it involves money it can take a little while to you know pay and all of that but when it does not involve money when it involves you and your time and your hard work just try and be timely as much as you can and develop healthy habits that will help you try your stay in the university i mean good reading habits study partners friends yeah try to build your gp when you're in your first year if you're course takes gp you know try to build your gp because it's going to really help you in other years but if you start from your first year to be lazy to be to stop classes to not do your to be the <laughs> dead dying minute time you know it's not going to help your uni life at all you're going to carry it over and over again because i learned that bad habits is easy like bad things are easy you can easily make them your habits like it doesn't take time just do it once or twice it is a habit but like healthy things good things you have to consistently try you know hustle to make that a habit before it actually sticks but you see buttons ah very easy like this and it becomes a habit so try as much as you can to create healthy habits and you have to start early my dear you have to start early <laughs> and again you see that mindset of secondary school drop it throw it away i mean if you were the best in secondary school that's fine but let it stay in secondary school do you know what i mean try and still be the best in uni don't be the best with your mouth like oh yeah i was the bgs you know in my secondary school i was the best graduating student and you know uh -uh. is it on me again what is this uni what's this bio what what's math <laughs> statistics this is this is trash i mean i'm going to be done with this thing here. like just give me 10 minutes i'm gonna just be done 
my dear throw that in a way keep it in your secondary school dash it to your juniors dash it to your school daughter or your school son whoever it is dash it to them but if you were not the best in secondary school don't bring that mindset to the university because it's going to it's in the past that was a phase in your life you're in a new phase you start this new phase in your life it's like a new book so you start it with you know fresh pages you need to write things in this new book you don't just say oh ah, is it not me is it not by what this biology that i fe 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 yeah in secondary school I'll come and still feel it. What's the? I'll just read. I'll just read like. Uh, I'll just read anyhow I read, my dear. Try and inculcate, incorporate good habits. Don't carry that mindset of secondary school. Or I was the worst in school. Or ah, I'm the best. Like, I mean, what's this? Throw that mindset away. It's a new chapter in your life. It's a new phase. You you decide what you write. In that new chapter you decide nobody nobody can decide for you decide what you write in that new chapter of your life because I mean if you're if you're allowed to start something like starting all over again that's how uni life is because nobody counts your secondary school that's you that's you deciding to be great nobody counts your secondary school people start counting from oh how is your first year oh how is your this because if you flunk your first thing, I think I used to be good though. How they say that thing? Uh, I get money before no be property. Yo. That was that's that's from a song. I had money before it's not property, or I had something before it's not a property. That's in the past. That's in the past. Okay? So don't bring your past into your future. Sometimes they can link and they can help you. But if you are with that permanent mindset that ah, like personally, personally for me, let me tell you guys a story. I never used to be a reader. I never I used to read like novels. When I mean reader, I mean I mean like school books. I used to read novels because then my library was my student my secondary school library was filled up with very interesting novels. Hey! We used to borrow they used to give us two days to finish a book. So a book that's like 300, 500, 1000, we will finish it in two days. Do you understand? So I used to read novels, storybooks, but I never used to be a reader of school books. But I still used to pass and I pass well, honestly. So I still used to pass, pass well, get prizes, this, this, this. I carried that mindset into first year. I was just reading. I used to read. I, I try. I listen in class. That is one of my ways of learning. I listen. So I listen. I pick what you want to say. I practiced because I loved math in secondary school. So chemistry, math, physics, all the things that need calculation, I loved it. So I'll just come, try some questions. In first year was a breeze for me, honestly. So I aced my first year. If we're doing GP, ah, my GP would have been very wonderful in medical school. First year was it. So that, that was like, ah, uh ah, -uh. so it's medical school. I carried that habit to second year when we had anatomy, physiology, biochemistry, something I've never done in my life. And... I try to read at least every at the end of every um, class. I try to read and go over what they taught me, you know, and all of that. Then I started derailing some. I would just read passively because the main exam was in eighteen months. I mean, second MB was in eighteen months, so I just used to, you know, I just used to read anyhow. Like I was not a reader, reader, reader till I took my first semester. My first semester. Um, First test, yeah, first test in medical school. I did anatomy, physiology, biology. That was my worst result ever in life, and it, I told myself that it would never be my result again. <laughs> that was my worst. In as much as something actually happened, an event actually happened to me that messed with my my head, like mentally. But that's not an excuse. I choose not to use that as an as an excuse, okay? But that was my worst result ever. I think I got maybe 49.5, 49, I, I don't think I got up to 50 in, this is, don't tell anybody, this is a secret between me and you, for I will now come and hear that, this one said that, that one said, Shh, don't tell anybody, I did not get up to 50, I was just in the 48, 49, I was just swimming in that place, just <laughs> because I I carry that mindset of second school. I, I, you know me, a boss. I'm getting 18 nights. I, I, I can't do it. it I, can, I never really said I can't do it. I know raised my shoulder up, but I was just like, ah, I'll just do what I used to do. I'll just read passively. I was a passive reader. 
me active. Oh, it's a miracle. Then, before second MB came, I just knew that I had to sit up, buckle my toes, <laughs> buckle my toes. If it was late night reading, I would do that. You know, I just had to put things in place to just make sure that what happened to me in my first test in second year would never repeat itself again. But what I'm trying to say is that don't take that mindset of secondary school into your university because the habits that you learned, the habits or whatever you did in secondary school might not help you in the uni. So just be open to changes in all honesty. I know that this video is kind of everywhere, but I hope you picked a thing or two from this video because this is the end of the video. If you're new here once again and you have not clicked the subscribe button, I do not know what you're waiting for. You want me to beg you as usual. I will not this time. Yes. Because you'll be subscribed. Thank you. Thank you very much for clicking the subscribe button. I hope you enjoyed this video and this video was useful to you in one way or the other. Please give this video a big thumbs up if this video was helpful to you. And leave your comments below. I'll see you guys in my next one, which is you know when. <laughs> Bye.